What's up, Internet? Asus heard that we were doing a gaming rig giveaway and they said, hold my beer, we'll send one over and you can give this away to For real, what happened was Asus saw one of our builds, decided they could do better and sent over this rig as proof. What really happened was Asus sent over a modern build, a good example of complementing parts that serves as a nice year-ender. A little bit of inspiration if you're thinking of building a new computer with the parts that are currently on the market. So that's what we're diving into today. For the CPU, this rig uses the Ryzen 5 7600X which is a good entry point to the 7000 series. The 7600X does have a noticeable performance increase over its previous gen 5600X. And it's an interesting option if you need a PC both geared towards work and gaming. Since it is the 7000 series, you're going to need an AM5 board. You can't use the old AM4 motherboards. And this one uses the Tough Gaming B650M plus Wi-Fi. The B650 is the mid-tier board for the AM5 line. The top tier board being the X670E, then slightly below that, the X670. Yes, those two are different. And then the B650. Again, the initial problem with the 7000 series and AM5 in general was their price. But with the release of new boards and new chipsets, there are more options now on the market. The B650 occupying the same relative position as the old B550. And this particular board has both looks and performance going for it. For stealth builds, this board is bonkers. Sobrang ganda ng black niya. It's kind of special glossy kind of black that sucks up all the light. I know what you're thinking. A lot of motherboards are just black period, but there's a certain sheen to the blackness of this board. Again, just on the aesthetics. Performance wise, it is 12 plus 2 plus 2 for power phases, which is what you would expect from this kind of level board. The capacitors and other components of the VRMs all look very solid. It also comes with PCIe 5 for the M.2 slots, so your NVMEs get even faster. And of course, if you're interested in gaming, the GPU is super important. This is a Tough Gaming 4060 Ti, 8GB. The 4060 Ti is an excellent value for money card. Ah oh, wait, <laughs> that's not it also. To be honest, the 4060 Ti, especially the 8GB version, had a rocky launch. A lot of people took a dump on it. However, again, time has been a little kinder since prices have gone down a bit. Of course, if you're upgrading from a 3060 Ti to a 4060 Ti, that doesn't make sense. But if you're buying a whole new rig and you're looking for 1080p performance around that price range, then you could argue that the 4060 Ti is a good choice for some builds, again, depending on the price, and I have to stress that. If you are in the market though for a 4060 Ti 8GB, this is a very solid card. Even glancing at it, you already know that the cooling solution they slapped on the card is top of the line. I'm not one for RGB, but I do like the subtle, tough logo on the card which is embossed. So there's a slightly raised indentation to the logo on the card. Again, it's the simple things that make you appreciate the hobby again. CPU, MOBO, GPU, all check. You will need a CPU cooler of course. The 7000 series runs a bit hot, although the 7600X doesn't run as hot as some of the higher-end models. So a 240mm RAD AIO is sufficient. We have the LC240 here from Asus. A competent AIO which comes with some nice RGB which complements a lot of builds. This one in particular, of course, they matched it so everything looks good. For the price range of the LC240, you don't have an LCD display on the CPU block that's for much higher-end AIOs. Bagay na bagay yung LC240 because it also has that kind of industrial look with the CPU block. The kind of edged, curved block that they have here. And then with the tough logo in the middle. Housing all of those parts is the ASUS A21 which is a very respectable looking case. You have a lot of air intake here in front with very removable mesh filter. Easy to clean, easy to put back on. The front panel is a little boring to be honest. No USB-C which a lot of people look for. The top also has the now standard magnetic mesh filter. Again, easy to remove, easy to clean. So there's a lot of airflow going through this guy. And then the usual TG side panel. To be honest, I'm finding the PSU shroud here at the bottom. It's very common nowadays but I find it a little boring now. I'm glad that the more experimental cases are moving away from them. 
but this whole front intake with RGB peeking out through the mesh, TG side panel, PSU shroud, this is the epitome of what a 2023 case looks like. And the airflow is really bonkers. I mean, just on an anecdotal level, I'm putting my hand here and you know, there's a lot of air coming out from here. The fans are a little bit noisy to be honest. I haven't tinkered around with the RPMs, but for sure, your components are getting a lot of cool air running through them, running through the case. So not saying that you should get these exact parts for your build, but what I like about this is that it's a good reference point. These are some of the most modern components on the market, and it's up to you how you draw inspiration from this particular configuration. Do you like the case? Do you want to change the GPU? Is the CPU okay, but you want a different motherboard? Again, the beauty of the PC hobby is that there's a lot of customization for what you need for your budget, for your use case. And if you're doing your research, you're looking at a lot of different builds, a lot of different configurations to see what you like. So as 2023 ends and you're looking forward to a new computer in 2024, you might draw some inspiration from the parts that we found here in this PC. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.